I wanted to share this book with you. This is Impractical Python Projects, uh, published by No Starch by Lee Vaughan. One of the difficulties, I think, when you are teaching yourself how to code is that you get to a certain point where you've learned kind of the basics and fundamentals of the language uh, and you know the syntax and you've implemented some very small toy projects but you don't know how to take it any further. And what you need to do is work on more projects. Project-based learning is really important when you're trying to learn to code uh, but if you don't have someone giving you those projects and, and sort of nudging you along and pointing you in the right direction, that can be a little difficult. And I think this book fills that gap very well. So if we have a look at the back cover, just to find out a little bit more about this book, Python undeniably makes programming easier than ever to learn. But once you understand the basics, what do you do next? Maybe you just need some inspiration for your next weekend project. Follow along and flex your problem solving skills Two, help James Bond crack a high-tech safe with a hill climbing algorithm. Hill climbing algorithms are very important. Writing poems using Markov chain analysis. Breed a race of gigantic rats with genetic algorithms. Genetic algorithms are another really important part of programming that would be very useful to learn. And plan a secure retirement with a Monte Carlo simulation. So you cover some really important topics in a very fun way and you're sort of guided through those projects. So let's have a look at two projects. One of the earlier projects, which are quite basic, I'm not quite sure how, but I seem to be inside an old operating system. Hmm. Anyway, if you click on the link in the description, you can come and take a look too. Why would you want to do that? Well, by doing so, you can enter Break the Code 2022, where you'll face a series of challenges and puzzles. And if you solve them, you can win some prizes. You could win an exclusive Keanu Reeves signed script of The Matrix, a James Bond GoldenEye weapon system, a custom MacBook Pro, and the top prize for the best code breaker is a customized setup with the latest equipment worth $12,000. I've already entered the game and I've solved the first puzzle. They're not easy and I'm a bit stuck on puzzle two. Now the game comprises of four drives. So when you get into this operating system, you have access, first of all, to an email. You have to read that email. And then from that email, you have to work out how to progress onto the next stage. Once you've done that, you have access to the drives where you'll find the more difficult puzzles. A lot of thought's gone into this Break the Code 2022 by Dot Tech Domains. Just using the emulator is a lot of fun and the puzzles are challenging. You won't just be able to solve them straight away. I think you'll really enjoy doing it and there's the chance of winning some prizes. So why don't you just click on the link in the description and see what you think. Maybe, just maybe, you can solve all the puzzles and they get more involved as you go forward. So chapter three, solving anagrams. Now, when you see the layout, if you're used to no starch books, you'll see it's a very familiar layout. You have very good explanations, code snippets, and then um, the code is all broken down. This book uses pseudocode, which if you're, if you're teaching yourself and you're a beginner, you might not have come across. And everything's numbered and broken down and explained. I like the no starch style. And so this is chapter three, the uh, anagram solver. Here we have a flow chart and the code is built up gradually page by page. There are also challenges at the end. Now, if we turn to chapter 14, for example, this will be a more complex example, mapping Mars with the Mars Orbiter. So the Mars Orbiter space probe has been successfully injected into Martian Orbiter, but all is not well. The orbit is highly elliptical and the project's mapping objectives require a low altitude circular orbit. Fortunately, there's just enough propellant on board to correct things, assuming the eggheads at Mission Control have the patience and skill to pull it off. In this chapter, you'll design and build a game based on this scenario. You'll use Pygame and you'll do your part to advance STEM education by making the game real enough to teach players the fundamentals of orbital mechanics. And then it gives a little introduction on uh, Newton's law of gravity and Kepler's laws of planetary motion, uh, because that's what you're going to be using to model the spaceship that's going to be going around Mars. 
Uh, and so there's a little bit of theory and then an explanation of how the interface should work. And then you move on to the code. And once again, everything is very well uh, explained and broken down. This project uses classes, you know, and it's essential if you're learning Python that you understand how to use classes. At some point in your Python career, you will need to do that. And, you know, getting to use them and getting the hang of them through projects like this is really important and helpful. Uh, so this is a really nice little project uh, that will definitely help to further your understanding of how to problem solve and think about how to implement code that has a particular objective that will solve a problem that you want to solve. And the projects in this book are, are all excellent and I would definitely recommend it if, you're, if you've reached the point where you need to practice on some projects but you're a bit stuck as to what projects to pursue. The book is not expensive. In the UK, it was uh, 18 pounds, which I think for all of the contents that you have in here is very good value.